Hey Scruffy, how you doing? So I have a bonus treat for you. Got chicken skin. So yeah, it's been raining. It's gloomy right now. So we're kind of early for dinner, but it's really dark. There's all the clouds. Man, did you fall over? <laughs> Open the door. Okay, so I got uh, your food. <clears throat> so yeah, it's a uh, meaty pate with, uh, oh no, it's, uh, yeah, it's the ocean whitefish. <clears throat> and uh, kibble and, of course, the chicken skin. So, don't like the weather outside, huh? I don't blame you. Oh, what was that? Came inside and then something scared him. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. It wasn't me. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so it actually rained today. So as I mentioned yesterday, the forecast suddenly changed and rain appeared again for today. I didn't know if I really believed it, because <clears throat> we never get enough rain, barely get any rain. But uh, yeah, we got a little bit. It didn't rain very hard. It feels more like a drizzle. Yeah, Scruffy's uh, vigorous tonight. So it's also cold. So the temperature cooled down again. So yeah, funny weather we're having. So I didn't check. What are you doing, Scruffy? Running away? I guess you need to stretch. Can't reach that far. <clears throat> so yeah, I didn't check to see if uh, what the groundhog did this year. So. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe the groundhog saw its shadow and means we got extended winter. I think that's what it means, right? I always get confused. It's funny, the, the movie Groundhog's Day. Um, I was watching a reaction video to it. Uh, And the, the reactor was uh, for uh, somebody, I think, from Russia or <clears throat> uh, it could have been Ukraine, but yeah, whatever. You know, uh, she didn't know what Groundhog's Day was. Didn't I? Don't even think really understood what the animal was, <clears throat> and. Uh, her native language is Russian, I think. And so she didn't have a translation for Groundhog's Day, so she looked it up. <clears throat> and according to what she found was it's yeah, basically a looping, repeating pattern. Uh, <clears throat> so basically, yeah, the terminology translation uh, is completely based on the movie. So, yeah, the movie has overtaken the lexicon for what Groundhog's Day means. thought that was interesting. So rather than getting a definition of you know, 
the animal and its shadow. It's descriptions about uh, time loops. <laughs> so that's, that's funny. Interesting how impactful that movie is. <clears throat> But yeah, it's also a really fun movie. So, yeah, having another bad day. Yeah, Scruffy's jumping up. But, yeah, I've been thinking about it, and I think for the past couple years, all I've had are bad days. I haven't had any good days. Something wrong. This is unfair. So I'm at the apex of my, uh, or the climax of my um, financial crisis right now. So as I mentioned, I actually won't know the results for several days. So right now it's basically wait and see how bad my disaster is. <clears throat> And uh, no news is good news. So the longer I don't know what's going on, the better that actually is, because it means I have a chance of an uh, uh, increasing chance of uh, dodging a bullet. So I'm hoping I suffer a lot for the next few days, because that means uh, at the end, end of this I, I might actually dodge a bullet. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm not a happy camper, but... Ironically, I'm hoping I'll be miserable for the next few days and uh, continue to be miserable because then I can celebrate. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, I get bad news and then I get to be miserable forever <laughs> until I get a lawyer and then I'll probably still be miserable. addition to dealing with uh, the financial thing, you know, I was trying to get some other work done today. Since it was so gloomy, I didn't go for a walk today or a run. Just thinking about doing pull-ups, but I actually got distracted and feel like crap, so I didn't feel like doing it. So I never got around to doing them. Okay, I think we're almost food time here, Scruffy. I got a kink in my back. I'm bending over to pet you. So, that's 
bending weird because he kept moving. Okay, ready? Yeah, I think you're ready. Okay, so since it's such a bad weather day, I thought you would enjoy the extra chicken skin. So I didn't check the weather report today. So I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So I think it was supposed to be clear again tomorrow, and then in another day or two we're supposed to get more rain. And then it's supposed to, I think, clear, clear up again. And then I don't think there was any more rain after that. Yeah, I think his fur is reacting to the moist air. It's kind of tangled. And kind of, uh, yeah, it looks like it's just reacted kind of badly with the air. <laughs> Moisture in the air or something. Okay, I'm done. It's giving me an evil eye. Good point. Place to stop. So I think this morning I saw Scruffy out on the deck. And yeah, the sun wasn't out this morning either. It was actually brighter than it is now. Um, so the clouds weren't as thick, but it was still overcast. And Scruffy was sleeping on the deck, kind of sleeping in a funny position. It looked like he was, his butt up was up and his head was down. It looked like he was kind of like putting his weight, sleeping on his head basically. And then at lunchtime, I saw Scruffy sleeping you know, right in front of the line of sight. So he was near the pot of plant. <clears throat> and uh, when I opened the door, he got up and he actually walked over. I was surprised. I thought he'd keep his distance. How you doing? And then. Uh, as I was bringing out the water, he hissed at me a couple times. So I got your water. So I thought it was weird. But he comes all the way over just to hiss at me. Walk all the way over here just so you can hiss at me, huh? Yeah? So... <clears throat> I need to get back to what I was doing, so I didn't stay, stay that long. Figured I'd see him at dinner. And I was planning to give him his uh, chicken skin tonight, so figured he could wait for the extra treat tonight. I didn't sleep well last night. I knew I had to get up early today to be on the phone to do last minute uh, issues with the financial nightmare that I'm in. So I need to make sure I uh, reach them uh, early in the morning, so you need to make sure to get up early, but uh, the stress of uh, making sure I got up early actually kept me up most of the night, so I didn't get much sleep, and I woke up early, earlier than I wanted to, so yeah, I'm not feeling well today.
uh, hoping maybe tomorrow I'll sleep a little bit better. But as I said, yeah. The more I suffer, the better off I might be. So it has nothing to do with the ability to sleep. It just uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to be uh, faced with not, or potentially faced with not knowing, and potentially faced with not knowing means uh, I might be. Uh, Get away with uh, dodging a bullet, <clears throat> but I think yeah, the more yeah, I think the most likely solution or situation uh, resolution is yeah, tomorrow I get uh, the bad news. But if I don't get the bad news tomorrow, then there is an increasing chance that yeah, I start dodging the bullet. So it's not guaranteed. I don't, yeah, unfortunately, I don't know what the probability curve is, but I do know just uh, generally speaking, yeah, if I get the news early, um, then yeah, or the, new, the news is most likely to come earlier. But uh, because this is such a special situation, I actually don't know for sure, but I'm kind of basing it off of uh, <clears throat> how I think the system works. So how, how computer notifications work and electronic notifications and how long they take to propagate. And under the usual circumstances, I would expect uh, tomorrow. But there is a possibility that all this stuff is uh, has to go uh, more hand hand done because this is a special situation, and so that means it could take multiple days to resolve. So I'm going to be should I say hopefully sitting on pins and needles for multiple days. It's really sick. Um, screwed up my situation is that I'm actually hoping to suffer more because it actually might lead to my better outcome. So I was trying to work on some unrelated things today, try to take my mind off of it. <clears throat> Don't think it would help though. Mm -hmm. I checked the cat food situation again, and yeah, Walmart still hasn't gotten more chewy. We've got a couple in back in stock, but not the ones I was looking for and not the full not the full suite. So I think Chewy has four different flavor packs and they <clears throat> only got two of them in and one of them I think is the pack that I can get from Target, which is the least interesting of the bunch. I think it's the one I'm actually giving script right now. I take that back. I think it's the um, yeah, it might be the one. And now, uh, <clears throat> and um, I mean, the chewy was one really interested in the other flavors because. They had a bunch that uh, Scruffy hasn't had before, and then if 
I buy from Chew, I need to hit like a fifty dollar minimum to get their sh free shipping, because the shipping's not that cheap. And <clears throat> I don't really, and yeah, the the other the problem is yeah, the pack that they have, those smaller packs, so I'm really not that interested in buying fifty dollars worth of. Um, the boring uh, flavor <laughs> that I can already get. Um, buying that much of it, I'd have to buy like five packs or something like that. There is a coupon, I think, I was sent. So maybe it'll only be four packs. Yeah, unless they get the more interesting and bigger packs in, they probably won't buy it from Chewy. So Target is still the movie balls for Scruffy. Okay. So he ate everything. So it's just a little bit of pate left. And there was all that skin in the bowl, so... I guess he's hungry tonight, because yeah, a few nights ago, I think when I gave him the chicken skin, he uh, didn't lift the bowl clean, and I moved the balls for him, and he didn't, he didn't come back. There was a lot of pate smear at the bottom, and there was actually some pieces of kibble, I think, too. But yeah, tonight he's doing a much, much better job, I think, cleaning the bowl. So yeah, I thought maybe because of the bad weather, he might enjoy the bonus chicken skin. Might make him uh, a little happier about the day, since uh, I don't think I don't think he cares for the weather today. Yeah, so Scruffy's been leaving the area the past week or so. So tonight you have to walk out into the rain if you did that. So maybe he's just going to stay here since it's wet everywhere. I'm gonna go in. So I'm gonna start getting up. See what he does. Yeah. Just gonna dump your water. Okay, so I'm gonna dump his water in the pot at plant. Okay, I guess Scruffy took off. I don't know where he went. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.